One day after her removal hearing was supposed to take place, a Newton Falls councilwoman is speaking out about what she believes is a politically motivated criminal charge filed against her. First News reporter Nadine Grimley has her reaction tonight. It has been an extremely frustrating experience from the very beginning. You know, this has been a hostile work environment. Just minutes after she was delivered certified copies of the complaint, Third Ward Councilwoman Tessa Splutzer is reacting to the making a false alarms charge she's now facing. It was filed in Newton Falls Municipal Court Tuesday, the day before a hearing to remove her from office was supposed to take place, but was canceled when a common pleas court judge ordered the city was prohibited from moving forward with it for the time being. It's all politically motivated, and I'm sure it's meant to intimidate me, discourage me, and, and really all it does is ignite my desire to succeed even more. The incident at the center of both the charge and a request to start the process of removing Spletzer from office by Councilwoman Sandra Braymeyer, who is facing a special recall election herself, stems from a 911 call made by Spletzer from the Municipal Center on April 16th. The city manager is refusing to give me information and I am an elected city council representative. I would like to file obstruction of justice. Okay, what's your Obstruction name? of official business. Okay, what, what? And I'd like to file a complaint. Splitzer says she wanted printed copies of the agenda and attachments. I was being refused that. I had the same exact thing happen back in February. So when it happened again in April, I didn't, you know. I felt like I didn't have a choice. I reached out to city manager David Lynch for comment, but he declined, saying he's been instructed not to speak on it by law director Joseph Fritz since there's a pending criminal case. In Newton Falls, Nadine Grimley, WKBN 27 First News.